Welcome, Manu. Bonjour. Oh, Good bonjour. to see you, Manu. Manu, do they uh, know how famous you are here in France? Do they know the Manu phenomenon that is we're currently in at the over. moment? They don't even know where I am over there. Yeah, oh. It's ridiculous. You should be all over the news over there. This, yeah, uh, you're a very good export you, for them. You should call them. Well, I will. <laughs> we'll, we wait, will. We'll call Nicolas Sarkozy today. Yeah, Put in a good word for you. <laughs> uh, hey, Manu, uh, new season about to start for us all here. Every year, I think you just change a few things differently. A um, lot more uh, competitions in, in different places. What have you got up the sleeve this year? Well, it's definitely bigger this year. And uh, the contestants are bigger as well. They've, they've got big mass, big which man. is fantastic. Uh, lots more travelling and uh, the challenges are bigger. Now, already from the promos, we've been annoyed by the South Australian girl. Oh, who goes, yeah. 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 Is she that annoying or have they just made her look really bad yeah. on the yeah. promos? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have somebody to hate. <laughs> <laughs> they, they often come from South Australia. Yeah. yeah Adelaide last year. must be full of these people. Now, we know um, one girl, Emily, um, she's in it with her sister. Mm-hmm. Um, what team are they in? They're the Victorian team Victorian in team. the second Ka- Ka- round. Ka- Ka- and Emily, yeah. yeah, what do you think about them? They're em? cute. They're really nice girls. They're obviously the two sisters. They've got a... A great uh, team there. It's fantastic, yeah. Mm. Now, we met the um, the two WA teams last night, and I know one of them as well, Emma. Um, she's she's the, There's a couple that are scientists. Oh, yes. And, um, so molecular gastronomy <laughs> or whatever it is. <laughs> I know, they're just <laughs> boiling stuff up. And the other couple is two friends. Um, it's Angela and Justine. And Justine, yeah. And uh, Angela is a truck driver. Oh, I love it. Incredible. I know, f- full on. Ju- Justine is the truck Oh, Justine, yeah, sorry. Justine. I apologise. Come on, uh, do your research here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> check my notes no, you again. wouldn't think. You know, you just think, oh, girls that drive trucks, can they cook? Is the question. Can they, they can. cook? They can cook. They yeah. can. No, they can. They 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 putting a good fight. Mm. So, what do you cook? What do you cook every night? You don't go home and do all this, do you? Nah. Like, what, like, tell me honestly, what are you going to cook if you can't be bothered? Two minute noodles. You are brilliant. Oh, you, you're not telling the truth. You are brilliant. Oh, yeah. that was our. That was Is the kids' dinner last night. Mm, it was that. Is that true? Yeah, seriously. Yeah, it's either I go out or I eat at my restaurant or I take away or if I can't be bothered, two minutes noodles, fried egg, fantastic. So oh. uh, if you got the power, I suppose, at your restaurant, if you were just sitting at home, can you ring the chef at your restaurant and say, bring me stuff like a pizza? <laughs> no, can... no, 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 no. Could be a bit of respect, mate. Oh, oh, God. oh just wondering. Okay. You should wield Never your power. own a business, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Manu, have you still getting the opportunity to put in a lot of time into your restaurant? I know you're so busy with different things. For well, we uh, we start re, uh, we finished recording uh, my kitchen was mid December. Yeah, and I've been back in the kitchen since and uh, until my next gig on TV, I suppose. So yeah, I, I love being back in the kitchen for sure. Mm. Now we notice on the uh, on the show that you do have to taste a lot of food. Such a skill. Um, that's, and that's what I get paid to eating do. Eating yes. on TV is a tricky thing. You you seem to do it pretty well. We were wondering if you could teach us how to eat food sexy. Because mm. I personally need a tarpaulin around me. <laughs> Even just taking a bite out of a sandwich. And Sean, if it's at a buffet, is just like elbows flying. He puts his flying. hands behind his finger. <laughs> <laughs> just like the only way to do it. Trough. So we've all got spoons, and there's some. We thought we might start with some ice cream. Um, so what's is there a trick to to eating eating in a Eat sexy fashion? Yeah. There's some um, ice cream over here that we uh, prepared earlier. Well. You either do like uh, George Columbaris and you just shuffle it in. Yes, because yeah. that's not sexy. Right? That's not sexy. sexy. But if that's you, like Planet of the Apes. So if you've got the little pinky out, it's, it's gay. No, oh, okay. okay. So I do right. that. Yes. <laughs> what about if you're a girl and you do that? Uh, if, well, you go, you've got to pull your tongue out as far as, far as you can. <laughs> <laughs> And then yeah, there we go. <laughs> There's nothing sexier than a girl licking on a scoop of ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now at least show us. Show us. Okay. You're right. Oh, look at that. Ooh, yeah. Oh, she's Ooh, done that before. Sexy. She's yeah. done that before. But so, then, okay, so uh, what us. I do on, on my kitchen is you've got to raise the eyebrow. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Right. So he's, gonna, he's going in. Raise the eyebrow. Okay. Nice. I'll see, I'll see what you did. His oh, then eye. look to the heavens. His eye, now he's oh. quivering. He's hit turbulence. <laughs> 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 Okay. And basically, what it does, it goes up to my brain and then go back down to my feet. Little brain. <laughs> and it passes something really and fun. Then the, and then the toes are just twingling like this. Uh-huh. I'm excited. Well, ice cream's easy. Now, we've got this jar of stuff. It's peanut butter mixed with um, stripes of jam. Jam. We'll Came from America, up. naturally. The Americas. We want to see if you can make that look sexy. Okay, I can tell you, Ooh. I had worse uh, on my kitchen roll, so it's okay. <laughs> I can do right, without so, it. So, um, big spoon, don't be a pussy. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say anything. She says. <laughs> he led into the microphone and I'm He's no, no. He's got a massive spoonful All right, of peanut butter and jelly right. here. Okay. I, I, I've got to say, I've never been a big fan of yeah. uh, the peanut butter. Remember, this is done famously in that Brad Pitt movie, Meet Joe Black, where right. he ate peanut butter, so he made it look great. It's, oh, okay, upside down it, spoon. Controversial. He's put it onto his tongue oh. now. He's pushing it onto the roof of his mouth. He's looking into the heavens. One <laughs> eyelid has drooped. He wants to and spew. And I think it's rank. <laughs> Can I get some water, please? <laughs> <laughs> so we'll do the rest of the interview now. Um, how are you as a personal life? Everything good? Uh, my lips are stuck together. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have another series of My Kitchen Rules back you're a funny again. Bastard. Great to have you in to visit us. I know you're off to the airport now. Thank so, you. Um, Thanks, Mino. <laughs> enjoy. Thank you so much. No water me. for him. <laughs> Cheers, kids. <laughs> Nova.fm.com.au. I'll do it because you do. Goober. Goober. I don't understand it. Oh, Manu. Why would they eat that? Why would they eat that?